doesn't love a great shrimp and grits recipe? This is a perfect recipe for the upcoming Mother's Day or just for any occasion, just to enjoy it. Let's dive in. All right, so first we're gonna take two cups of chicken broth. We're gonna mix that with two cups of 2% milk. And you can use whole milk as well. And chicken broth helps actually give it a really nice flavor to the grits. Next I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter and put that in here as well to add to the richness. And we're just gonna bring this to a boil. Okay, so while we're waiting on that to boil, the milk and the chicken broth mixture, we're gonna take about six to seven strip, strips of bacon. We're gonna dice it up. Just dice it up to little chunks. After you get done cutting it up, we're just gonna kind of break some of it apart because some of them obviously they may be stuck together. And next we're gonna take our cast iron skillet and while it's heating up, just go ahead and get the bacon in there. Okay, so while the bacon's cooking, we're gonna take one cup of the old fashioned grits and we're gonna slowly add it into the milk and broth mixture, whisking it in. And we're just gonna follow the cooking directions and cook these for about 15 to 20 minutes. And we're just gonna stir this and check it often, about maybe every five minutes. And we're gonna turn the burner down to a simmer and we're gonna cover it. We're gonna go ahead and we're cooking this bacon. You want it to be nice and crispy. So while the bacon is cooking, we're gonna take our shrimp, our deveined shrimp, and you can use jumbo as preferred size, but I got extra large, because that's just what I could find at the store. And I'm gonna put some Cajun seasoning in here. You can use whatever is your favorite type of Cajun seasoning. And I'm gonna put some Old Bay seasoning as well. I'm gonna shake this about. And we're just gonna coat the shrimps. And I'm gonna leave the tail on my shrimp. I've seen others have the tail off. I'm gonna give this a good shake to get it well coated, just like so. Not crispy yet. Now we're gonna go ahead and stir our grits. And you may wanna check it a little sooner than five minutes to be on the safe side. You don't want it lumpy. Mix it really well. We're gonna cover this back up. I'm stirring this again. Put the lid back on because it's not done yet. Now we're gonna take our bacon off. It's nice and crispy. And we're gonna leave the bacon grease in here because we're gonna actually cook the shrimp in it. It helps give it a nice, really nice taste. Okay, so now we're gonna take the shrimp and we're gonna place it in here and we're gonna cook them for about a minute and a half on each side, minute and a half, two minutes on each side. Shrimp doesn't take very long to cook and you don't want it all tough. I'm stirring this again. Okay, so that's cooked. We're gonna flip it to the other side and cook it for another minute and a half to two minutes. Okay, we're gonna take this off of here. Meanwhile, the grits are probably still cooking, so just make sure you keep an eye on it. So now I'm gonna actually use this bacon grease. I'm gonna put a, about a, a tablespoon of butter because we're gonna make us a, a gravy to go over our grits. And I'm gonna add, now you can add bell peppers, onion, but I'm just gonna add some green onion to ours and some garlic, a little bit of minced garlic. Next, we're gonna just add two tablespoons of flour. And we're just gonna whisk it. We're gonna make a roux for our gravy. 
And now we're going to add a cup of the chicken broth. Now whisk it around until it thickens up. And see how it's thickening up? That's going to be our gravy. Now we're going to add about two cups of medium shredded cheddar cheese to our grits. I'm going to stir this in there to make some good old cheese grits. Now that the grits and the gravy are done, we're going to do the fun part and we're going to plate it. All right, now let's do the fun part. I'm going to go ahead and make our nice bowl shrimp and grits. And we're going to take some of this nice good old gravy that we made and we're going to spoon it over top. Take some of the bacon. Put some of the bacon on there. Put some of that good old shrimp. Now we're going to sprinkle some green onion. And voila, there you go. All right, so if you like what you saw, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure you check out our latest video uploads.